If you haven't been living under a rock, then you've probably heard about graphene batteries and how it's going to revolutionize battery technology. And you should know that companies like Samsung are working really hard to use graphene battery technology in their smartphones. So why is it such a big deal and how does it compare to the current lithium ion batteries? I am Keno and this is Anchortech. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. Before we get into graphene batteries, let's just get a quick recap of what graphene actually is and how it works. So, graphene is a composition of carbon atoms that are tightly bound together in a honeycomb-like structure. And what makes it unique is it's one atomic layer thick, that is crazy thin, and that makes it excellent for conducting heat and electricity. It's also really flexible, very strong and extremely lightweight. And it has superior heat and electrical conductivity compared to copper, which is the most conductive metal element. So when it comes to batteries, the best use of graphene as a battery is as a supercapacitor. Supercapacitors store up current just like a normal battery, but they can charge and discharge really quickly. And that means using graphene will greatly increase charging speed. Back in 2017, Samsung announced its breakthrough graphene ball technology. And we've heard rumors that Samsung is going to release a graphene powered device this year or next year at the latest. So how do graphene batteries compare with lithium ion? First of all, their internal makeup is quite similar, but they have very different features. For example, graphene offers higher electrical conductivity than lithium ion, and that translates to faster charging cells, which will significantly reduce the time it takes for the battery to charge. It also conducts heat better than lithium ion, and that means batteries will run cooler and have a prolonged lifespan even in small cases like smartphones. Graphene batteries are also lighter and slimmer than lithium ion batteries. And that means phones can get slimmer while maintaining the same capacity or having larger capacities in the same form factor. Graphene also allows for much higher capacities than lithium ion because lithium ion stores up to 180 watt hour per kilogram while graphene stores up to 1000 watt hour per kilogram. That's a whopping 456% increase in capacity. Finally, graphene batteries are safer than lithium ion batteries. We've seen lithium ion batteries go out of control with overcharging, overheating and puncturing that can disturb the chemical balance in the cells and cause a fire. None of these are going to be an issue with graphene batteries because graphene is more stable, more flexible and stronger than lithium ion. Although, lithium ion batteries can use graphene to enhance its conductor performance, and this is called graphene metal oxide hybrids. So, using lithium ion and graphene hybrids will result in lower weight, faster charging times, greater storage capacity, and a longer lifespan of today's lithium ion batteries. I believe the first wave of graphene batteries are gonna be the hybrid of lithium ion and graphene. Graphene is such an exciting technology, so let me know what you think about this new exciting technology in the comment section below. Drop a like if you enjoyed the video and be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. Thanks for watching guys, see you in the next one.